Hi guys, welcome to the multi-award winning Emerald House of Cars. We're a totally unique family run business on a mission to be the best car dealership in the UK. Our commitment is to give you guys the best buying experience you've ever received, whether you plan on purchasing completely online using our free next day delivery service with seven day money back guarantee, or you're coming to the showroom to meet the team. We've made everything as easy and as transparent as possible so that you've got full confidence in choosing Emerald for your next car. A little later in the video, we'll show you how our vehicles are prepared before sale in our on-site RAC approved service center. But for now, sit back, relax, and enjoy the following video. Hello there guys, and welcome to this quick virtual walk around of the Estrel Blue Metallic BMW 320D M Sport. Three series, probably the most common scene and most popular variant of saloon that BMW offer. And that is of course, because it effortlessly combines luxury, performance and everything you would associate with the mercedes-benz brand you can see this one has got quite a good feature list and it looks really really striking on the eye so i'm going to tell you now exactly why you should consider this is your potential next car so starting off you can see that estrel blue metallic it is an optional extra as it is a premium metallic but it does give it such a great aesthetic really really nice and works phenomenally against the black you can also see down here you've got your LED headlights which again are an optional extra. You've got your daytime runners and moving down you've got your fog lights as well. You can also see you've got the honeycomb grille and the real nice sharp styling of the M Sport packet. You've also on there got the chrome grille with the black slats and of course the kidney grille. And moving down you've got your 19 inch 442M alloy wheels with an accompanying blue Estrel caliper. And moving around you can see you've got your body colour door mirrors with the gloss black just around the trim. You've also got the nice flared extended side skirts just down here. Moving around you've got your high gloss shadow line which is of course this de-chroming around the windows. And that leads gorgeously in to the gloss black B pillar and the tinted privacy glass on the rear windows. Car free from any dinks, dents, marks, scratches, indentations or previous paintwork. And every car here is of course HPI clear. And moving around, you've got your LED rear taillights, which are, of course, BMW branded. And moving down, you can see you've got your rear parking distance control just on here, which is all across the rear bumper. You've got your ferret grey diffuser and your dual exit chrome exhaust. And moving up and around here, you can see your badging. And you've got your boot, which lifts up quite quick, a little hatchback boot, so do be aware. It's quite big inside, you'll easily get all your groceries, all your shopping. You'd probably get a push chair and a stroller in there as well if you've got a growing family. And you can see you've got your first aid kit and a little storage here. And underneath, you've got two further compartments. It's not an electric boot, so you do need to push that back down. But you can see lovely flowing straight lines all the way across. It's a really, really clean example and one that is certain to turn heads whenever you come down a motorway, a B road, an A road, or even when you just drive it out of HQ. So that's pretty much everything I can show you on the exterior of this 320D. Let's head inside now and show you what the cabin has to offer as well. So inside, it's everything that we've come to expect from BMW. You've got your nice Napa leather, or real solid steering wheel there. You've got business nav, you've got your aluminium finishes with your black chrome trim. And you also see that leads around lovely into the Harman Kardon on the tweeters on the door. You've also got the nice speakers, you've got your semi-automatic gearbox, and you've of course got your black Dakota leather with the black stitching as well, which on your heated front sports seats, which are of course manually adjustable, but you do have electronic lumbar support. And it's just a really nice, well-finished car. You can see down here, you've got your door inlay with the M Sport badging. And on the door card, you can see that Harman Kardon speaker there. And moving down, you can see that nice black Dakota leather. You've got your electrically adjustable mirrors. You've got your electric windows. And moving down, you've got your cup holders and storage. In the rear, you can see the seats have hardly ever been sat in. And you've also got the armrest with dual cup holders as well. You've got Isofix. And in the back for a saloon, you've got a surprising amount of leg room as well. So getting inside, Whoa. quite low down this car is, which is really nice because it gives you that 
bit of a performance feel. You've also got your lighting there, which are automatic lights. You've got automatic wipers. Got your air vent again with a pearl black chrome just here. And looking at this, you can, of course, see you've got your old school black dash and you've also got the digital display just here. And moving around, you've, of course, got your business nav. But on the steering wheel, you've got high beam assist, which is this button just here. So obviously you've got the button there. And this one here is to control your instrument cluster. These are actually indicators, which are a fully functional, optional extra from BMW, believe it or not. And you've also got your paddle shift on there, which is an upgrade with the automatic sports gearbox. You've also got your automatic wipers just here. And on the wheel, you've got your cruise control and you've got your voice control and volume control as well. Favourite bit, though, is the little M badging just on the bottom, which makes it look absolutely incredible. So if we turn it on, you can see just down here, you've got the push button start. If you click on there, get it up and you can see it tells you when your next service is due. And it's done just over 46,900 mile. And there you go. For a diesel, that to me is a pretty solid and sounding, very quiet engine. Not like the tractors that you get on alternate variants. Now in the instrument cluster, when you click the button, you can of course get your average MPG. You can get your average speed. You can also get the date or you can leave it blank. Paddle shift, how does it work? Anytime you're driving to change your gear down, you can use this to change your gear up. You can use this really simple, really effective, and it does give you the optimum driving. So of course you've got your nice bolstered supported steering here. You can hold it, both hands on the wheel and change. It just gives you total control of the rev ratio and how quickly you start to accelerate. For me, it's the only, only way how to drive this car. Now moving across onto the business nav, you can see you've got the smaller screen, you've got the older generation of satellite navigation system, but make no mistake, that doesn't mean that it's any better, any worse, or any different. It's really effective and it's really simple to use. Now it's not touch screen, so you do have to use the iDrive controller here, which of course the joypad moves up and down, side to side, and you can press it in and out as well. Now, if you do want to change it, if you scroll on to the left, you can see you get your different options here. Route, points of interest, traffic, interactive map, map views, and additional information. But from the top, you can click on your multimedia. You can see you've got your CD. You've got your external devices, which are plugged in or Bluetooth, and you can change your sound as well. You've also, on your radio, you've got FM, AM, and DAB, but you're only ever really going to need DAB. And of course, you've got Bluetooth telephone as well. Navigation, we've just been on that, but you can click through. You can see destination input, put it in there, start guidance, Bob your uncle, Fanny's your aunt, and off you go on your Christmas vacation. You've also got contacts of which you can import the ones from your phone. And you can see you've got BMW connected drive as well, of which you would need to speak to your local BMW dealer to see if it's activated. Most important one is vehicle information and then vehicle status. And you can see here you've got your TPMS, you've got your reset, engine oil level, you can measure it. But if you click on service requirements, click on service history, you can see you're greeted by a full BMW service history. The last service of which has been done this month at our on-site RAC approved facility, but we don't have the tool to upload it onto the iDrive. It's around six grand and you need to have a certain background for doing it and you have to have the BMW approved status. Now, if you do click on sports displays, you can see you've got the power and the torque, which is a really nice addition. And you've got many other little different bits, such as efficient dynamics, and you can measure the way you're driving. Now, coming off there, you can also see that we've got the options here. If you click on settings, and what you can do on there, you can click on the control display, so you can change your brightness. You can also change the time, the date, the language, many, many different things on here. You've got your Logic Sound 7 with your Harman Kardon, climate, lights, you can change all the different options. Your ambient lighting, you have of course got classic or sport, it's not the multicolour option. And you've got Eco Pro Mode and you can also do a software update as well. So that really is everything that's on there. Moving down, in case in that aluminium you've got your fans or your old school heating system, and you can also see down there, you've got your old school radio tuner, your mode and your audio here. You've also got CD and turn your display off. Down from that, you've got your digital aircon. So you can see you've got your heated seats for the passenger and the driver. 
you've got your front screen, you've got your rear screen, you've got your air distribution, you've got the severity of how quick or how much air is distributed into the cabin, and of course that is dual zone. As you can see here, you can change the temperatures. And what you can do, you can have auto or manual recirc, and you can change your temperatures using the dials here. If you turn the aircon off, you can see you can change it so it's just heating, and you can turn your seats down or up using the button just there. Moving down from that, you've got a bit of storage, and under there you've got a dual cup holder and a 12 volt socket. And now you come to the main piece of the interior as such. You've got the semi-automatic gearbox, and you've also got your drive select modes here. Now in order to use this, you need to put your foot on the brake, press this button in, and then push it down into gear, or push it up into reverse. You'll know you're in reverse because it will tell you on your instrument cluster, but you'll also have your rear parking distance control as well. And on your cluster, you can see the reverse just there. Now if you do not do that properly, if you put your foot on the brake and press it down, you'll see it doesn't change, and it gives you an indication on the instrument cluster on how to use it. So click that in, click that down. Now, if you do want to drive this in sport mode, you simply flick that across to the left and then you're in sport. So you'll see now that comes up as S1 as opposed to D. When you are in the sports mode, that does obviously give you an uprated rev ratio. It gives you a better torque a better acceleration and it also gives you a better throttle response as well just means that the car can make better progress a lot quicker now what you can also do in the manual mode you can use this but it can get confusing so to change your gear down as in you want to go from fourth to third you need to click your gear stick up if you want to change up a gear, you drive, you put it on to 4,000 revs, you change it down, you change it down, you change it down, and that goes up in the revs. For me, though, if you want manual, you have to use the paddle shift. So we'll flick that across and put it in park. On here, you've got the old drive control, which we've touched on. Really simple to use. Click on menu and scroll away and find what you need. And moving down here, you have of course got your black Dakota leather on your armrest. You can lift that up, you've got storage, and you've got your auxiliary and USB in as well. You've also got the nice leg extenders on the cushions, which of course there's a little clip underneath, and you can push it forward or push it back depending on how long you want to have and how long your journey is. So that really is pretty much everything I can show you about this 320D to our spec. It's extremely good looking and it's really, really good on fuel. And it's also available now on finance or as part of a part exchange deal, which of course here at Emerald, we're more than happy to discuss. But if you do have any questions regarding the prep, so you can see on our webpage, the 128 point check, which is of course under the inspection form on the website, you can see everything that is checked over at our onsite RAC approved facility. We check the cars both cosmetically and mechanically just to ensure that they're in peak condition for you when you turn up at HQ to meet the award winning team. As I say, we deal with a lot of the main finance lenders in the industry. We're more than happy to get you any quotes from as little as 7.9% APR. We welcome part exchanges and we're more than happy to assist with any queries that you may have. But for me, I really want to say thank you for watching and we really do hope to meet you down here at HQ in the not so distant future. One of the most important factors when buying a used vehicle is figuring out who to trust. Buying a car is a massive financial commitment and you need to be 100% confident in the company that you choose. We have over a thousand five-star reviews on Google, Facebook and Autotrader. Hundreds of video testimonials and the jewel in the crown are the multitude of awards we've won over the past number of years, including UK Independent Dealer of the Year, Independent Community Dealer of the Year and most recently, Used Car Retailer of the Year. Integrity and transparency are really important to us at Emerald in how we conduct our business. We're the only dealership with a multi-award winning weekly YouTube show, which pulls back the curtain and lets you see the inner workings of how a car dealership operates. We cover all aspects of the day-to-day -day running from buying, selling, sourcing, after sales, and of course, everything that goes on over at our RAC approved workshop. Every one of our car undergoes the 128 point vehicle inspection by our team of experienced technicians. Any item that aren't up to our approved standards, we rectify and replace parts needed with manufactured approved parts. 
We also serviced every car and put a fresh MOT on ready for its next owner. When we are happy the car is in A1 mechanical condition, over it goes to our body shop for paint correction or wheel refurbishment, then finally onto our detailing team. Essentially, we want to ensure that when the car reaches its new owner, it's at its very best. For the road ahead, we've got you covered with a comprehensive 90-day warranty, which can be extended for one, two or three years, depending on your preference. We are proud to be partnered with the market leading warranty providers that match up to our own high standards, providing customers with genuine support when they need it. We've also got you protected for all unfortunate circumstances, such as having your car written off or stolen throughout your time holding the vehicle. We're really pleased to be able to offer a great RAC gap and return to invoice insurance product, keeping you safe long after you've left our showroom. If you are local to us and want us to take away the headache of keeping your car well maintained, our service plans could be just the ticket for you. Payable monthly and carried out in our fully equipped RSC proof garage, every service comes complete with a free health check to keep you and your vehicle safe and secure on the journey ahead and also protect the future value of your car by maintaining that all important service history. And when it comes to protecting your car's interior and exterior against stains, scuffs, contaminants, all of our encompassing Gardex paint and fabric protection ensure the aesthetic appearance of your new vehicle remained unaltered and improved to an almost better than new finish. It's a great opportunity to protect against the best and worst that Mother Nature has to offer. And last but not least, if you do need to take out finance for your new vehicle, we have a panel of over 35 lenders, including Santander, with rates as low as 7.9% APR always guaranteeing you the lowest possible interest rate. For a fee finance check, which won't affect your credit rating, click the finance tab on our website to fill out a two minute application that lets you know beforehand what your monthly payments are likely to be. We've got loads of PCP, HP and lease options available depending on your personal preference and budget. So if you want to speak to me or my team of finance experts for any help and advice, please don't hesitate to pick up the phone, we're here to help. Our goal at Emerald is not just to sell cars, it's about creating lasting relationships and customers for life. But don't just take our word for it. Here's what some of our customers had to say about their very own Emerald experience. And how would you rate us out of 10? 10 being probably the best car dealership in the UK. Definitely 10. Oh, I'd definitely say 10. I'm going to say 10. 10. 10, obviously. 10. 10, I suppose. <laughs> definitely a 10. I would give you a 10. Ah, uh, it's got to be a 10. I'd give you a 10. Well, it's obviously a 10, isn't it? Obviously a 10. Wait, right, more than 10. Can I say 11? Straight million. <laughs> Straight, Straight million. Why more than 10? I would say 10. Oh, I'd go as far as saying 11. Definitely a 10. 10, yeah. A 10? I can say 10. In the 11. UK. Well, it's got to be a 10. Definitely a 10. If I could give you more than a 10, I definitely would. <laughs> I'd definitely say a 10. 10. I'd give you a 10. I'd give it a solid 10. I would say 10. 10 out of 10. I'll give you a 10. That sounds good. Give it a 10. 10. Don't argue with 10 out of 10. It's got to be a 10. <laughs> I'll give you a 10. But I would rate you a 10. So 10 out of 10. 100%. It's got to be 10 out of 10, right? <laughs> That's an easy one, isn't it? It's 11. 11 out of 10. I'll give you 10. Because I came back, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> and I'll be back again. <laughs>